and welcome to another fun class using Tinkercad. Now that we've become familiar with how Tinkercad works, we are going to apply our knowledge about pulley systems to create a 3D printed pulley system that we can actually use. As I talk, I'm going to show you one way that you can make a wheel for your pulley system. I'm going to grab a cylinder, place it, and shrink it down. I've already created another cylinder that's smaller. I'm going to drag this right over top of that cylinder I just placed. Now I want a cylinder for the top that's identical to the bottom, so I'm going to copy and paste it, and I'm going to drag it up, and place it right over top. Now, I've created a pulley wheel that has a notch around it so that a rope can be attached when it is 3D printed. Our lesson goals for this assignment are to use appropriate science and technology vocabulary when you're talking about the type of pulley, the components, and its purpose. This system needs to be able to stand up and carry a load. What else could I add to make this a full pulley system? Let's see what we all come up with. Have fun!